Whether you're using a sharp knife to make a 2D design, a CNC machine, or a laser cutter, you always need to think about the material you have at the start and what you want to remove to get to the final product. Here we have two circles. One is an engraved pocket. The other is a cut outline. As a designer, you get to pick whether you want to cut something out or just engrave in the surface. Cuts are usually quick. Depending on the thickness of the material you use, you might need to do one or two times around the cutting line. Carving out a pocket, though, takes a while because the cutting tool you use has to sweep back and forth across the material. The deeper the cut, the more times the cut needs to be made in the material. You should also know that the size of the cutting tool makes a really big difference. Changing from a big cutter to a small one means you can cut better detail, but the time required to make your design increases quite a bit. The major difference between a laser cutter and a CNC machine in terms of the cuts you can make is the size. The bit in the CNC machine usually ranges from 1 to 4 millimeters. Most laser cutters focus the light to a circle around a tenth of a millimeter wide. This is why the level of detail for laser cutters is so much higher. When you want to export a file to be cut on either machine, you usually use a file format that describes each part of the image mathematically as a series of lines. This is called vector format. Common vector file formats are SVG and EPS. If you have a choice, save your file in one of these formats. This means that the laser or the CNC mill can move along the lines to make cuts on each one. Most images we work with are defined in terms of pixels. These are called raster images. As we zoom in to a raster image, the edges get fuzzy as the pixels become visible. This doesn't happen with vector images. One way to think about the differences is that vector images describe cuts while raster images are equivalent to engraving or carving. Just like carving out a pocket takes time, using a laser to engrave a raster image can take a while. The reason vector files are so convenient is that most laser cutters use the width of the line to know where to cut and where to engrave. Small width lines are cuts, and everything else is engraved. When you have a project in mind and 2D cutting seems to be the right approach, think about the differences between cutting and engraving and vector compared to raster images. Think about the size of cut you need for your project. By planning with these considerations, you can spend more of your time having fun and being creative.